Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. As you can see by the title, this is like a little match day vlog. It's not a proper match day vlog, I'll give you the heads up. Currently I'm away and I missed the remainder of the pre-season game, so I'm getting a couple of lads to help me out and do like a little vlog type thing. Um, we take on Nottingham Forest today, I'm filming this after the game. I'm going to tell you, talk about the game and then show you the clips that you sent in. If they're in the wrong order, I apologise, but it was a nil-nil draw anyway, so enjoy the clips that you sent in. But we're going to talk about the game quickly. You can skip to the clips if you want. But anyway, um, just like a little match day vlog. This is like the intro. But yeah, we drew 0-0 with Forrest. Um, it was the opening day. The academy played earlier on. The ladies were meant to have a game, but it got cancelled. They're all events and outside, all stalls and all that. Going to have a drink and all kids playing at bounce castles and all that. It was a good little event. We released our home kit. Uh, whether that's the final or it's having a sponsor or not, I don't know. But anyway, we took on Nottingham Forest. Um, half past five, I was on a plane the time we was um, playing them, so I missed it. But I've read about the game, read about the fixture. Um, playing Forest, obviously, Premier League opposition. I think, I do believe they brought 2,000 fans, which were pretty impressive by them. Obviously, they're looking to have a good season in the Premier League next year. Great club. Finally got the promotion to the Premier League that they deserved by going up for the playoffs last year. I remember when their fans came to World well during the league. Uh, it was very impressive, and when we went to their place, we lost both times to them and got bad both times. But yeah, back in the big time where they belong, hopefully can do well. They made some good signings, they signed that centre-back from um, Matt Mines, I do believe it is, that near Carte. They signed another foreign striker, who was a good signer, I can't remember his name. Got um, Henderson in net, made some great signings, so um, tough opposition. Our team, if I can remember off the top of my head, we had Collins in net, we had a back three of... Mads, McCarthy and Cundy. Right wing back was... I don't know if Britain played right wing back. I would. Just, yeah, it was Britain right wing back. Then we had Anderson, Cundy and McCarthy as a centre-backs. No Helic in the team, no Styles in the team. Then we had uh, Liam Kitchen as left wing back. Uh, midfield three of Herbie Kane, Josh Benson and Luke O'Connell. And then a front two of Jack Aitchinson and Devante Cole. The bench consisted of Jack Wallen, Jasper Moon, Nicky Cadden, Will Ondermark, Joe Ackroyd, Matty Wolf, Isaac, Luke Thomas, Ada Marsh and Fabio Jallo, who did play this morning for the under-18s, but scored in our picture against Aversley the other day. So a decent looking team, and to come away with a 0-0 draw, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, I've, only read what, I've only seen what I've read on Twitter and a few clips my mate sent in and what he says. He said, we didn't play too bad, uh, we, look, we look defensively strong and that we can keep possession in the midfield, but obviously lacking goals See, still seems to be the issue up top. I know we've scored a few in pre-season, but playing a good team like Forest, who have got a good defensive structure with some of their players, um, obviously we still need to, obviously Norwood didn't play, we were just signed before, and we need to uh, invest and get a couple more strikers in, I do believe. But to say we were coming up against players like Brendan Johnson and um, the other striker that Nottingham Forest signed, yeah, his name was a one year. A year now he used to play in Bundesliga. I'm not sure where they got him from, but some very good players. Rest of the team were Henderson, Warrell, Cook, Nia Carte, Biancone, they just signed him from somewhere. Cafu, Colbert, Williams, Hammond, Johnson, and a one year. I probably butchered his name. But um, against some good players, so to keep a clean sheet, it uh, looks like we're still keeping that good, strong defensive structure. But we obviously will need to try and create more chances through midfield and up front. I can't go into too much more deal, detail because I wasn't there. I'm going to pass you on to the few clips, make it into a little match day vlog. I hope you enjoy the clips. Thank you to Alex. Follow him on Twitter. Um, I'll leave it in the description if I remember. But yeah, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed the little vlog that my mate Alex did for me. Bye-bye.